up y'all and welcome back to another one. Oh, finally finally a cold front's coming in and uh i could not be it couldn't be better timing it actually could be better timing like two days earlier but it's here and the clients are here as well actually they're going to be here in one day yeah we're getting everything ready thank goodness for this cold front but before we get into today's video I want to tell y'all we just did a massive drop of new products at duckswaterfowl.com. Oh yeah, check out that new white hoodie. Yeah, buddy. How sick is that? Honestly. And the new thermal. You got thermal on thermal hoodie. Yeah, buddy. This is the new thermal coat from Ducks. Yeah. It's a work coat. It's a hunting coat. It's an everything coat. It's my new go-to and it's going to keep me warm. I just started unboxing all this. So I was like, I just have to fire up the video and we have to do this because I got a lot of stuff in the mail here that I want to show y'all. Not only the thermal combo, not only is that a killer, but check out this new hoodie from Ducks. Oh yeah, cutting mallards on the back, olive thermal hoodie. Yeah, buddy, check out this new hat. Sis, what do you think? I like it. Isn't that nice? Want to try it on? Here, put it on. You can wear that one. And then check this one out. Oh, Bodie Allen. Oh, that's your that's your kind of hat. He loves these. Bodie has one one other of these, and he lost it. Look, Bubba. He just woke up from a nap. Don't mind him. Poor guy. Here you go, buddy. You want your new hat? Let me see. Let me put it on for you. Oh, he's a tired guy. Come here, buddy. Let me hold you. Mama just left to, uh, you bend in the bill for me? Easy now, easy. Daddy likes him a little flat. He's a, he's a tired boy, he wants to be a daddy's boy. But, uh, wait, so the hoodie, the new hat. What else is in here, sis? Grab what's in there, what's in there? Oh yeah, this hat too. Check out that old school camo, the new patch. What's that you got? Ooh, new camo ducks beanie, what's the other one? Oh, there it is. That's the new Blades beanie from Ducks, isn't it, sis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to wear it? Wear that one. See what it looks like. Ooh, look at that hunting girl. You want to wear it? You can have it, sis. Bub, you want to try on your stuff? You ain't having it. So, all this new stuff came in. If you guys want to pick up any of these new products, I'll link them all down in the description. You like your new hat, sis? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. You've been wanting to be on the videos more and more, haven't you? Yeah. I know you have. You want to go hunting? Mm hmm You and Bodie, need, we need to go hunting, don't we, before it gets real cold. Okay, we will. And Beth is going to go hunting. Yes, it's happening. Stay tuned for that video. It'll probably be with the clients, this first group. Speaking of the first group, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video. It's because our first group... Um, or the uh, father's son that I hunted with down in Texas. Now, a lot of you were there. That was the crane hunt. Remember that? It's the only crane hunt I've ever done. And uh, they're really awesome, man. Chris and Gavin, two of my friends, uh, honestly. And we have them, which they're a group of four, and then we have a group of three coming. And um, all I can say is check out what they sent us here. Sit right here for a minute, okay? You okay? Sit up. Yeah, right here. Check this out. I opened it up. I was like, what is this? I was like, what's Rockwell? Never even heard of it, right? Oh, this is what it is. Custom watches. Check this out. Look on this side. It says Sand Hill Flyway 2020. Well, better yet, look, I already got mine on. Sand Hill Flyway 2020. And then on the other side, it's got the Ducks logo. Dude. That is from the first clients that are coming. And when Chris said, you know, months and months back that he wanted to come and hunt, um, he had not only booked one date, but two dates for him and Gavin to come. So they'll be back in late December. So um, it's gonna be a hoot. I really want you guys to, uh, to stick around for that first hunt. Actually, we might just filter it right into this one, I bet. You're cold? Are you cold, man? He's like, I'm going back inside, dude. <laughs> Woo! Well, I told you this was gonna spill into the first hunt, the first client stand here. And 
this right here. What's up, brother? It's Tell everybody running. your name, first of all, and where y'all are from. My name is Jake Barney. I'm from uh, Hamptonville, North Carolina. <laughs> I brought the old artillery gun this morning. We're going to see if we can get one. <laughs> Dude, that's a military special. That is a 10 gauge. And what's your guesstimate on the weight of that bad boy? Uh, I'd say she's about 12 pounds. 12, a good old clean 12 pounds for Shirley. You sleep good last night? Oh yeah. Good, oh, good. Yes, the beds were okay. Oh yeah. Might be a little small, but they're comfy. Oh yeah, they're comfy, man. Okay, good, man. good. Last night was the first night in Lodge. Everybody in here? Gavin, are you ready to go? Yeah, You look it's a little cold, tired. Though. Yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> it's a little cold. You got your, uh, you got your bibs? No, I didn't bring my bibs. He's like, Dad, no bibs? <laughs> it's a little cold. It rained all night last night. I was surprised. It kept me up at night. Yeah, it woke me up. Yeah, it, two thirty. It was getting it. Yeah. This is Chris and Gavin from Utah. Yep. Thanks for coming. Anytime. The first clients in the door. First clients in the door. Yes. But yeah, we finally got a cold front. A good cold front. Look at the bathroom. All clean, looking good. I'm excited. First hunt. First group of clients in. Last night, old Chris, you just met. Uh, he bought everybody pizza. So tonight we're doing a big old steak dinner and uh, we'll bring you guys along. I'm going to uh, prolong this video however long it takes to get through the whole hunt, the whole evening, to show you guys uh, what we're about here at Sand Hill, you know. We'll close everybody's bedroom door for them. Turn off some lights. Look, the lockers are getting used. <laughs> All that summer work, me and Gerald in here. It all paid off, all for this moment to have the clients in here, you know? I'm loving it, it's so special. Let's roll. Are you ready, dude? Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking, this A-frame, it is windy, the wind's picking up, and this A-frame makes it pretty nice. Yeah, it's like, what, probably 15 mile an hour winds? Yeah, probably 15 mile an hour winds, sitting at about 37, I would guess. We got the, uh, we got the spread set, uh, we're here. And boy, howdy, let me tell you, it rained a lot more last night than I figured. It was a muddy dude. Um, thank goodness there was a, a pivot road to get out here. So we're sitting at the half mile line. We have the A-frame uh, stuffed back in some standing cotton. And we got the spread out in front of us. I will show you the spread once it gets a little lighter. It's shooting light right now and it's still pitch black out. So wish us luck. First hunt. Here we go. Shoot him, guys. Stay. Nice. Stay. nice shot. Archer. Yeah. yeah. Now there was some pennies in there. Some old long necks. First birds down. First day, we got some ducks. Oh yeah. Smash the thumbs up. Come on y'all, let's get this video 3K. Come on, help a brother out. First hunt. <laughs> the old Susie Slayer's down there. Three more ducks down. They did it. Old girl was out moving the uh, mojos, and as I mean, he was out there, and they still did it. Huh? No calling, and maybe we'll just shut up and let them do it themselves. Oh, we got a pintail. Who hasn't shot a pintail down yonder? It was one of these guys. They shot it. Yeah. Uh, Guarantee. There you go. <laughs> Woo! That's what he wanted most. He got his pin tail. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yes, there you go, brother. Hell yeah. You got to sprig it all on him? You got to sprig it all? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. There you go. All right, that's beautiful. You're going to have to get that one mounted. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Dude. Going good? You guys having fun? That's what's up. You guys having fun? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. This is fun. Good shooting, Gavin. 
You don't get a fist bump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Gage. Big shout out to Gage. He's helping us this year. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. It's going to be a good one. It is. It's going to be a good year, isn't it? We're going to have fun. If you haven't followed Gage, do so on Instagram right here. He's uh, he's rolling with us all season long, and uh, we're thankful to have him. Oh, I was busy calling first lesser down, Gavin. Dude, where'd you go? You disappeared. Good shot, brother. Thank you. Wow. I was a little bit to the right. You one shot. Bam. Oh, hear more. Yep, hear more. Let's go, boys. Now, I'm going to put on the GoPro. We're going to get to rallying here. <laughs> It went <laughs> Yay! load up these two might come back on yeah yep you're good yeah yeah <laughs> boy how did that's some more pintails down down yonder right there that's some more pintails down in the field baby we filled pintails yeah yeah dude we didn't even like expect very many ducks this morning so big plus Good first hunt going on here. Them in boys ho oh, oh. ho my jaw is in toast the lap that was beauty uh oh we got a spec two specs two specs 4 oh somebody wanted a spec down yonder you got it here I really hope I got that first uh, volley on camera. I almost think I may not have got it. It was a good one. Dude, it was a long, how long did we work them? Oh, good five minutes. Oh, my jaw, man. I don't blow a spec call very often. They go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. They're all pintails except for four mallards. We're done on pintails already, so enjoy the show. <laughs> What just happened? Oh my god. Wow. Heck yeah. Safety's on. Yep. Holy cow, boys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let's go home. <laughs> Woo! That was a show. 
Wow. Let's get back oh. down, guys. <laughs> oh, <holy shit. laughs> oh. Hey, hey guys, Beautiful. whenever they start to get close, just let me finish the calling. We got a little loud when they were getting close. a good one now this is a good one <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Woo! safety on here here Richard, here here We have uh, we've tricked probably three good sized flocks of geese, geese and geese. pintails show up again. We are done on pintails. Um, the lessers though, there's a lot of birds coming. We, have, we haven't seen half of the birds yet, have we? Yeah, they're, they're right here. <laughs> they're right there. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the show, be sure to subscribe. All season long, we're doing this. I'll show you the spread here in one minute. <laughs> a big volley of birds oh my oh my hope you guys like the big camera let me know down below if you want the big camera or if you want Bob shooting which one which one This is a <laughs> on trick in a hundred eyes at, the t at a time, boys. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> this is what happens when the first weather rolls into Kansas and it's been 80 degrees for two weeks. They get hungry, they get vulnerable, they get real dumb, and you take advantage of it. We're done. 8.30 a.m. done. Limited out. I want to show you guys the spread, though. As you can tell, I'm pretty happy. What are you thinking? Did you like it? It was. It was fun. That was a ride, dude. It was. Now, seeing how them birds come in like that. Them big. So those big groups like big. that, you know, there's 100, 200 sets of eyes. Yeah, and you you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. They'll gotta see you. They'll see down. you like that. Yep. Gotta sound good the whole nine. But this is what we sat today. We sat right at about a hundred dozen. A uh, real big teardrop, a little J action. We already got this picked up, as you can tell. But I'm gonna get back to work so we can get out of this muddy field. My boots are getting heavy. Do you love it? Ooh, boy. Like, loved it? Loved it. That was good. We loved it. <laughs> we, we loved it. No questions. They're still wanting in. Yeah, they're still wanting in here badly. Real bad, actually. Real Mike, bad. We better get out of here so we can hunt it again. Well, we're all picked up. Woo! Boy, did we do a thing today. Not a good, yeah, we got some good lookers here. That guy there is just a beauty. Then we got two beauties right here local beauty pintails uh huh and then we finished a seven man limit we did the thing today we did a thing, we did a thing you did a thing he did a thing did a fight. you were on the right end you're over there just mobbing <laughs> just letting her eat baby yeah, right, boys. <laughs> yeah. oh yeah you're the guy 
<laughs> which, which one are you taking home? Uh, I think uh -huh. it's going to be this one right that here. One there? Yeah, look taking at this. Back to... Just beautiful bird. Yeah, it is. Are you going to mount that guy? Yeah, he's going on I wish he had a, br a better sprig. Yeah, but... I know. First pintail, that's what I come to Kansas for. Well, we got her done the first day, brother. Yep. What's well, 8 times 6? 48. 48. 48. Six hey, times eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not good at math. <laughs> 48 lessers. How many specs? Five. 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 And a limit of pintails. And two Susies, right? Yeah. Two Susie Mallards. Boy, howdy, what a hunt. Come on, Freddy. Come on, buddy. Look at him limping. Mm -hmm. He's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning at 945. <sighs> It's really hurting my heart him not being able to hunt uh the clients all the all the clients are still here um this is their second day they did a little mallard hunt this morning it was good i think they shot 10 ducks and like 10 geese almost i didn't go on that one because i had to scout all morning and then i had to edit and upload for you guys so uh, i promised all my clients that that booked a hunt this season i was like look i'll promise you i'm gonna be on at least two of your three hunts and that's what i promise so tomorrow is going to be their last hunt i'll be on it i'm not sure if it's going to be a water duck hunt a field duck hunt or another filled massive goose hunt but i want to tell you guys a couple things not only is fred hurt he's going to the doctor i'll keep you updated on that but as well as i got a puppy and i've been hinting around to you guys uh just to just to get you guys ready for the new puppy. I don't want to tell you any details, just stay tuned. Uh, he or she will be here soon, like very soon. On top of that, I forgot to tell you that this hoodie at Ducks is available as well, it's on the site. Uh, if you've been looking for a good old American flag mallard hoodie, you know where to get it. Down in the description below, along with all the other Ducks Waterfowl new products. Like I tell you guys all the time, when you guys purchase something from Ducks, it helps me keep making these videos. I wouldn't have a lodge, I wouldn't have this channel, we wouldn't be doing all these things, these clients wouldn't be here if you guys hadn't kept supporting me all these years. Thank you so, so much. And I mean that. It's a very special thing, me getting to share my property, my hunting experiences, with these clients. These clients are you guys. They're subscribers, you know. Uh, you guys have always said, hey Bob, do a subscriber hunt. They're here, we're doing them every single day almost for the next three months. So stay tuned. Uh, on the next video, I'll start it out uh, kind of interviewing each client, where they're from, how old they are, uh, what made them want to come hunt with me, this ugly dude. Uh, just a little bit of info and background on them so you guys will just understand that they're just like you they're just like me we're all one and the same y'all and what i'm getting at is boy howdy we started running uh client hunts here and i have had a lot of local other guides outfitters some have been very nice and some have been like <laughs> uh let me tell you something guys get along get along in this little sport that we have in this little industry of waterfowl uh, and enjoy it enjoy it because you know what it's not going to be very long and we're not going to be able to do this anymore this won't exist very long and i mean that i'm not just trying to be dramatic i'm not just trying to be dramatic here i'm telling y'all the world will be changing it is every single day get out there enjoy the outdoors pass on your legacy of the outdoors. Pass on your experiences, what you know, to the younger generation. Provide, be friends, be nice. There's no reason to always be in a competition with each other thinking we're all better than each other. That, that's just, come on now. Enough ranting, I'm over, it's done. I just wanna keep it in the back of y'all's mind. Uh, if you were me, uh, if you were in my shoes better, let's put it that way, for just a week you would understand uh, how much revolving hate there really is out there and I just want to encourage you guys to get out and enjoy you enjoy you no matter what anybody else says get out there you don't have a ton of time you know you never know when our last days are get out there I'm not gonna get that I'm done oh but old Freddy Rico I know dude Archer he was on this hunt he did good I'm just gonna let you know no dude oh I know he poor guy 
I feel so bad for him. He needs to go to the doctor. We need to see what's wrong. Hopefully it's just a sprain. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little notification bell on there. It will notify you when your boy uploads. On top of that, I just checked. It's Now it's like at 50%, down like 3% of y'all that have not hit the subscribe button. Do it. Come on now. Takes two seconds. Right down there. You'll want to. Waterfowl season. The next four or five months, whatever it is. But thank y'all for being here. Until next time.